Hi, welcome to Baby Garden Studio. I'm Monta Bryant, author of Baby Sign Language Basics, and today I've been teaching my students some fun signs that they can use with their toys and play time. The sign for play, we just shake our letter Y hands like that, play. And then to sign toys, we just make two letter T hands like this, and we sign play with our T hands. We play with our toys. So let's see what favorite toys we have today. Well, one of the first favorite toys I would say is a ball. Here's a nice little baby ball, it jingles. So to sign ball, we just make kind of a round bouncy shape with our hands like that. Ball, ball. And what can we do with the ball? There's a few different things we can do, right? We can throw it, we can catch it, and we can roll it. So those are some fun actions you can use with the sign for ball. And when you're playing with balls too, or anything, um, you can use um, the sign for more a lot, right? For things your baby's enjoying. Of course, playtime's a great time for signing with your baby and using more is a great um, sign to use with playtime. So I've got a little toy here that has balls inside, my little ball machine. <gasps> Out. Do you want to do that some more? Let's get more balls. More balls. Woo! More balls. So that's a fun way to play with your baby using the sign for more. And uh, let's see what else we have. Um, a lot of time babies really are interested in everyday objects like your keys, right? Now, these really look like real keys, but believe it or not, these are baby toy keys. Babies really like them because they're actually made of metal, um, and so they're just like real ones, right? They think they're really mommy's keys. So the sign for keys, we just put our knuckle in our palm and turn it like that. Key, key. It's like a key turning in a lock, and you can also hold the keys while you're doing it. That way it keeps your baby's attention, keys. Or I can even, really to get my baby interested, um, sometimes do the sign with the actual key. Key. Really good attention getting strategies when you can incorporate the object into the sign. Ball. Ball. So you're not doing the sign perfectly, but it's a great way to get your baby to see the sign and the thing you're interested in at the same time. How about rattle? Rattle. So we just pretend we're shaking a rattle. Easy one, right? Rattle. And, oh, I've got some little building blocks here. I don't know if you can see them. Blocks. So if I was going to sign blocks, like for little building blocks like these, I can just sign build and make the shape of blocks. So it's like building something on top of each other and blocks. Blocks. Um, what else do I have here? I have a little dolly. Doll. So for doll, we show doll's cute little noses. Our bent index finger, which is called the X finger, just makes a little brush on the end of your nose like that. Doll. She's so cute. Oh, she's kind of having a bad, bad hair day, but she gets played with with a lot of babies, <laughs> by a lot of babies here. Doll. And oh, another fun thing you can do to make some of your more routine signs into playtime signs is you could use the doll um, to reinforce some signs um, for like eating, drinking, things like that. So I could pretend to give the dolly some food, right? I have a little bowl here. Mmm, <gasps> nom, 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 nom. She's eating. We're going to give the baby some food. Mmm, <coughs> yummy. Does she want a drink? Maybe she wants to have a drink now. Baby's having a drink. Drink. Does she want more? Maybe she wants more food. Let's give her some more food. She's having more food. More food. So that's the way you can incorporate some of your more routine everyday signs in a really fun way to get your baby more interested in signs like eat, drink, and more, for example. Uh, okay, let's see what else. Ooh, I've got something fun here. The sign for where and also the sign for what are signs you can do, use all day long, right? How about where, or like you say, what's in here? What is that? Oh, I see some eyes in there. What is it? Oh, it's a bug. There's a little bug in the flower. Oh, where did he go? Where's the bug? Go. Oh. 
So that's a lot of something fun you can do. You can also do that just with putting a blanket over a toy or something. Or if you're not at home, maybe you just have your baby's sweater and you can just put it over your keys and say, oh, where are the keys? And see if your baby can find them. So really easy to make impromptu little games to use with your baby. Uh, another great one to use um, with a lot of your baby's toys or just when you're out and about is music. They play music like in every store you go into, right? You can always sign about the music. <gasps> Do you hear that? I hear music. Oh, can you make some music with your toy? <gasps> You're making music. Yay! Lots of musical toys. So yeah, I think that that's about all the toys that I brought today, but I'm sure you can think of many more and you can always look up more signs um, online for your baby's favorite toys. Thank you very uh, thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.